project by month is a collaboration between IRD and the National Bank of Thailand. The idea is to look at the mechanisms of biodiversity at different scales. From the lower scales, where microbes are important in the regulation of the carbon and nitrogen cycles, up to the higher level of land use changes and also integrating intermediate levels such as the level of the vegetation dynamics. BIMOMS has two main objectives. The first objective is to uh, better understand biodiversity mechanisms at different levels and how these different levels interact. We don't want to be reductionist looking at the lowest level. We don't want to be holistic at looking only the global level. We want to look at all these different levels and understand how these different levels, these different scales interact. This is the first main objective. The second main objective is to have concrete output, have models, software, to be able to predict how biodiversity will change on the long scale. The main research location of BIMOVS is the Kaoyai National Park and in particular the Mosikto plot. We have selected this plot because our Thai colleagues have worked there for more than 20 years. They have followed vegetation dynamics there. They have monitored uh, different uh, variables of biodiversity. So we want to build up on this knowledge. They have the knowledge of uh, the forest. Uh, they have data. They have collaborated also with other colleagues. And we, we, this is our starting point. And currently, we are investigating other plots to extend our research and look at this these dynamics of biodiversity at a larger scales. Hello, we come from ASDA and National Biobank of Thailand. We come from different labs. First, Dr. Nicha, she works on bacteria and archaea. Me, Anutara, I work on um, forest dynamics, uh, plant and wildlife. Dr. Panyawood work on plant molecular and uh, tissue culture. Dr. Komsik works on um, fungi and mushroom. From the IRD project, we have a plan to look at the different types of the forest. And uh, from the Mosinto plot, we have um, old growth forest. And then we also have many types of the um, succession forest succession. It means that they are different age of the forest and then we can look at the biomass you know, in a different age of the forest. And then we want to see that what the land use change you know, around the Khao Yai National Park and then we use the, the uh, Mosinto plot as the one My name is Nidhi Jha. I'm a researcher at National Biobank of Thailand, NASTA. And my research is basically um, is on using the remote sensing technology, trying to measure the biomass and the carbon content of the forest. And I'm trying to do it for Khao Yai, uh, for the whole Khao Yai, and trying to uh, improve the model so that it can be used at other areas as well. I think we believe that biodiversity and change in biodiversity happens at different scales. So it's not just, you know, something at the space level that we can check the biodiversity of trees and everything. It also happens at the microscopic level. So the idea behind this is to see the, um, the pattern at different scales and try to connect and interlink the different scales. So because I think uh, with the biodiversity of the microbes, they differ from different forest types. So uh, if the forest um, is young, they have different kind of microbes. And if the uh, forest is mature, they have different kind of microbes. And similarly, same pattern can be seen with the space. So because uh, different type of the forest or different age group have different type of signature or signals and different type of diversity. So this is something that we want to see at different scales and we try to link it so that 
in the future we can try to see at other places where we do not have the um, you know samples from the fields for example.